Hello bears. All right, so tomorrow night we were supposed to meet at the Casey Hall and work on robotics. And you guys were each going to find one job that robots can do that people already do and decide if you think that robots do it better or if people can do it better. And then we were gonna make a robot hand. So tonight I'm gonna show you how to make a robot hand done with simple um, ingredients, supplies that you should probably have at home. So I have string, a straw, some scotch tape, scissors, piece of paper, scrap piece of paper. It does not need to be big, fancy, and new. And my pen for tracing my hand. Now I will say it is easier done on an adult size hand than a child size hand. Sorry bears. But what we're gonna do is put the hand down on the piece of paper, spread your fingers out, makes it easier, and trace your hand. It does not have to be perfect. Um, if anything, it might be easier if you manage to draw your fingers a little bit bigger than what they actually are. Nothing huge and crazy though. So once you get your hand cut out, we're going to use our, we're gonna bend the joints. So we all know where our joints and our hands are and we see most of our fingers have one, two, three. One, two, three, it's just our thumb only has one, two. So keep that in mind when we get that far. So cut it off at the wrist. Circle around. So, and like I said, you're gonna see I'm not following the lines exactly. We don't need to follow the lines exactly. We just need to make sure that we have five fingers. and you'll have to excuse the baby in the background. All right, so I have my hand cut out. You see it matches up here. So this being my thumb, I'm gonna fold it once right there, fold it once more at the bottom where my thumb would bend. So one, two, each finger is gonna have three. One, two, three. Put a better crease in that one. So once you get all those bent, then we're going to work on our straw. We're going to cut our straw into three, six, nine, 12, 14, 15, 16, we need 16 pieces. And by the time we have it all cut and everything is attached, we will have a hand that we can control like a robot. So we see it all curls. And now I told you, we're gonna cut this straw. And 16 pieces sounds like a lot to come out of one straw, but we don't need giant pieces, guys. It's just a little piece small enough to fit right there. So, maybe about half an inch. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, we might need two straws. 10, definitely need two straws or smaller pieces. All right, 11, 12. So I've got 12 right there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put them on. Um, and then I will take a picture after I get the other piece. But this is where our scotch tape comes in. 
So here's my small piece of tape. It's attached to one of my straw pieces. Here's my pinky right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it down. Now, is it exactly perfectly centered? In which, guys, I'm looking at this and we can use smaller than half an inch. But we're gonna get, which means we might actually need one straw because I'm gonna cut some of these pieces in half. So, all right, there it is. See, I cut one of the pieces in half and I know my hands are a lot smaller than some of our other parents' hands, but original about half inch piece, about a quarter inch piece. Quarter inch is gonna work pretty well for most of these joints. So, get those taped on, go ahead and cut some of these other pieces. Getting some of my pieces of tape and taping them down. Now, after a minute, this is gonna get kind of self-explanatory. So I'm gonna end the video and um, put the rest of it together and then take a picture and send you guys that way you can see the whole thing or maybe I'll take a video of my hand working that way you can see what it looks like finished so I'm just gonna do these two fingers and this one joint from another finger since I have an extra piece of tape right there all right, and then one of the pieces that we want to stay longer, we're gonna take, and this one is going to tape at the bottom center of the palm. We want it to be down here. If it's up here, it's not going to work right. Bottom center of the palm, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna string through here, and the string is gonna come down and pull, and if this is up here, your thumb won't work. So that string we got earlier, I'm using yarn, um, twine, anything like that will work just fine. So I'm gonna cut off a piece a little bigger than I need because I can always shorten it. And it's gonna go, just to make this easier for me, I'm gonna tape the end of it not a necessary step, but like I said, making it easier for me. And then we're gonna string it through. So all the way through. So up through that one. And then it's gonna come up through the joints. Up through the joints. So my one string went from the center all the way up. I need a separate string for this hand, a separate, or hand, this finger, separate string for this one, separate, separate. I'm gonna get my last piece of tape for the pinky. And I'm going to tape that string down on the back of the finger. And then on the front, when I do and I pull, have my joints and when I pull I can curl the finger straighten it back up and we repeat this process with each finger and then when it's done we have our robot hand all right thanks guys I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done